When it comes to cordless circular saws, fortunately, there's a lot of options out there. The question is, is that $70 saw just as good as the one that cost $300? Well, let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which saw cuts the fastest. We'll compare the electronics, blade break, vibration, and noise. At a price of $70 for just the saw and not the battery and charger is this Rigid brand. All the saws we'll be testing are designed for seven and a quarter inch blades. LED light turns on as you activate the circular saw. Additional handle at the front improves stability and precision in cutting. The Allen wrench that's used for changing the blade is located at the base of the handle. A dust blower attached to the tool clears your path so you can see the direction of your cut. Up to 3700 RPM, we're going to test that. Electronic convenience brake for less downtime between cuts. The side angle view of the bevel adjustments on the Rigid makes it very easy to make adjustments on the go. The Rigid has positive stops at 15, 22 and a half, 30, 45, and 56 degrees. The setup of the Rigid makes it very easy to make depth adjustments. The Rigid uses a brushed motor. The Rigid is made in China. The Rigid weighs 8 pounds, 5.3 ounces, or 3,780 grams. I'll be using 4 amp hour batteries to test all the saws. 80.1 decibels for the Rigid. The Rigid claims it makes 3,700 RPM, but it came up about 300 RPM short at 3,401. And the blade break is very fast at 0.3 seconds from full speed to full stop. Let's kick off our first test using this tester I put together. The sides as well as the bottom of the tester are lined with rollerball bearings. I'll be using 2x4s that are 12 inches in length. The bearings are doing a great job of allowing the 2x4 to move back and forth freely. I'll attach a 5 pound weight to the test piece using a string which will pull the 2x4 under the saw. I'll take the blade guard in the fully open position. The blade depth of all the saws is set to right at 2 inches and the bevels are set to 0 degrees. I'll install a new Diablo framing blade onto each of the saws. The blades are designed for both corded as well as cordless saws. The rigid is mounted to the top of the tester and the bevel is in the locked position. Unfortunately, the hardware that attaches the motor housing to the shoe allows about two degrees of wobble. With five pounds of force, the rigid ripped through the two x four in 2.88 seconds. And the rigid performed about the same on the second cut at 2.73 seconds. 3.08 seconds on the third cut for an average time of 2.9 seconds. Also the price of $70, the same price as the rigid is this Craftsman brand. Unlike the rigid, the Craftsman has a brushless motor. Up to 75% more power. It has an electronic brake and an LED light. Upper metal guard offers resilience. Up to a 56 degree bevel. The Craftsman claims to make up to 5,000 RPM. Just like the rigid, the Craftsman has a plastic blade guard. The Craftsman's bevel adjustment mechanism has a ball detent to provide a stop for 22.5 and 45 degrees. However, setting the blade depth isn't as user friendly as the Rigid. Looking through the space between the handle and the saw, you can see a blade depth indicator. The Craftsman brand is made in China. The Craftsman is quite a bit louder than the Rigid at 89.9 decibels. And the Craftsman is quite a bit lighter than the Rigid at 6 pounds, 13.7 ounces, or 3,112 grams. And the Craftsman came up about 500 short of his advertised RPM rating. And the faster spinning Craftsman needed to slightly longer to stop the blade than the Rigid at 0.35 seconds. Unlike the Rigid, with a little side-to-side -side pressure, the Craftsman remains at zero degrees bevel as did all the other saws that we'll be testing. And the Craftsman is about 37% faster than the Rigid at 1.82 seconds. Very consistent results with the Craftsman at 1.82 seconds on the second cut. 2.12 seconds on the third pass for an average of 1.92 seconds to move into the lead. At a price of $115 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this Ryobi OnePlus HP. Up to 325 cuts per charge. Brushless motor. Up to 40% faster cutting. Die cast upper guard provides greater durability. Up to 4,300 RPM. Blower attached to the tool clears the path so you can see direction of cut. The Ryobi does not have positive stops on the blade bevel adjustment. Direct line of sight on the adjustable depth gauge from over top of the saw is nicely designed and user friendly. The Ryobi saw is made in China. And the Ryobi One Plus is the lightest yet at only 6 pounds, 9.3 ounces, or 2,986 grams. 87 decibels for the Ryobi. And the Ryobi came up about 100 RPM short of its advertised rating at 4,193. Compared to the Craftsman and Rigid, the Ryobi needs about three times longer to stop the blade at 1.06 seconds. And the Ryobi isn't quite as fast as the Craftsman at 2.27 seconds. Nearly the same on the second pass at 2.32 seconds. Very consistent results at 2.22 seconds on the third pass. So the Craftsman is about 15% faster than the Ryobi. At a price of $118 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this Works Nitro. The Works has a brushless motor up to 6,100 RPM. The Works comes with a 24 tooth blade. To adjust the bevel, you have to loosen two butterfly nuts on the front as well as the back of the saw. The markings on the bevel adjustment are not quite as easy to read as most of the other brands. The Works does have a bevel stop at 45 degrees. Looking through a narrow space between the saw handle, you can see the blade depth indicator.
The Works brand is made in China, and the Works is even lighter than the Ryobi at 6 pounds 8.6 ounces or 2,968 grams, 84.7 decibels for the Works. And the Works is the fastest spinning saw yet at 5,646 RPM. The saw brake needs 0.65 seconds to completely stop the blade. And the Works ripped through the 2x4 in only 1.66 seconds. The Works is a little faster on the second board at 1.51. 1.71 seconds on the third board to move into the lead over the Craftsman. At a price of $150 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this Cobalt XTR. The Cobalt even includes a blade. Brushless motor delivers 5,500 RPM. It claims to deliver up to 50% extra performance. Most of the other systems advertise 18 or 20 volts. The Cobalt advertises 24. It even includes a rafter hook. Unlike the previous brands, the Cobalt uses a metal blade guard. The bevel indicator is easy to read and the Bevel stops include 22.5, 45, and 56 degrees. And the Cobalt team's done a great job of designing the line of sight for the blade depth indicator. The Cobalt is made in China. 84.4 decibels for the Cobalt. And the Cobalt weighs 8 pounds, 14.9 ounces, or 4,051 grams. 5,331 RPM for the Cobalt. And the Cobalt blade came to a stop in 0.6 seconds. And the Cobalt is even faster than the works at 1.51 seconds on the first pass. 1.41 seconds on the second test piece. Very consistent results at 1.51 seconds to take the lead from the works. At a price of $150 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this DeWalt brand, which is the same price as the Cobalt. The DeWalt uses a brushless motor, up to 5,500 RPM. With the FlexVolt Advantage, the DeWalt can use either a 20 volt or a 60 volt battery. Integrated rafter hook for quick and easy storage. The metal blade guard definitely seems more durable than the plastic ones. The DeWalt has bevel stops at 22 and a half and 45 degrees. And the blade depth indicator is pretty easy to see from directly behind the saw. The DeWalt brand is made in Mexico. And the DeWalt weighs seven pounds, 15.5 ounces or 3,616 grams. And the DeWalt's the loudest yet at 91.1 decibels. 5,275 RPM for the DeWalt. The DeWalt can stop the blade in 0.55 seconds. And the DeWalt made the first cut in 2.12 seconds. Very close to the same speed on the second cut at 2.22 seconds. 2.02 seconds on the third cut for an average time of 2.12 seconds. At a price of $170 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this Makita brand. If you buy the kit, it comes with a blade, two batteries, a charger, as well as a carrying bag. Makita's electronic brushless motor delivers 6,000 RPM. Unlike the other brands, the Makita uses two 18-volt batteries for 36 volts total. The tool even includes dual battery level indicators. Die-cast magnesium base, blade guard, and blade cover provide lightweight, durable design. Positive bevel stops at 22 and a half, 45, and 56 degrees. Looking through the space just below the handle, you can see the blade depth indicator. The Makita saw is made in China. The Makita weighs 7 pounds, 11.9 ounces, or 3,514 grams. And the Makita is the loudest yet at 91.4 decibels. 5,812 RPM for the Makita. The Makita needs 0.75 seconds to stop the blade. The Makita is a little bit faster than the DeWalt at 1.97 seconds on the first cut. The Makita is a little faster on the second pass at 1.76. 1.71 seconds on the third pass for an average time of 1.81 seconds. At a price of $219 for just the saw and not the battery and charger is this Bosch brand. Core 18 volt brushless motor. 360 degree pivoting port directs dust away from the body when the saw is held in either hand. 5,000 RPM. The metal blade guard on the Bosch seems very durable. The Bosch's bevel adjustment mechanism has a ball detent which quickly locates 22.5 and 45 degrees. Adjusting the depth with the Bosch is very user friendly. The Bosch brand is made in Hungary, and the Bosch weighs 8 pounds, 8.3 ounces, or 3,866 grams. And the Bosch is fairly quiet at 83.5 decibels. 4,977 RPM for the Bosch. The Bosch has a pretty good set of brakes at 0.55 seconds. The Bosch performed nearly the same as the Makita at 1.76 seconds. It performed nearly the same on the second cut as well at 1.87 seconds. 1.66 seconds on the third pass for a three-board average of 1.76 seconds. At a price of $274 for just the saw and not the battery and charger is this Milwaukee Fuel. Brushless motor, 5,800 RPM. Includes a rafter hook for quick and easy storage. Metal blade guard seems very durable. Adjusting the bevel on the Milwaukee may take an extra couple of seconds since it doesn't have bevel stops. The Milwaukee design for setting the depth of the cut seems very user friendly. The Milwaukee brand is made in China. And the Milwaukee is by far the loudest yet at 98.3 decibels. And the Milwaukee weighs 8 pounds, 11.8 ounces, or 3,965 grams. And the Milwaukee is the fastest spinning saw yet at 5,848 RPM. Considering the high blade speed, the Milwaukee has a great set of brakes at only 0.45 seconds. 
And the Milwaukee made the first pass in 1.61 seconds. Nearly the same time on the second pass at 1.6 seconds. 1.66 seconds on the third pass is good enough to move into second place behind the Cobalt. At a price of $300 for the saw, the battery, and the charger is this Flex brand. Since I wasn't able to find a tool-only option for the Flex, I went ahead and bought the kit. The kit includes an 8 amp hour battery, but I'll be using a 5 amp hour battery for more of an apples to apples comparison. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a 4 amp hour battery made by Flex. 25% longer runtime and 50% faster charging. 24 volt brushless motor. 5,800 RPM. The blade change tool is stored at the back of the saw. Rafter hook for easy storage, 22 and a half and 45 degree bevel stops. Instead of providing specific measurements for the blade depth, the flex saw provides an indication for cutting through a two by four, three quarter inch, half inch, and a quarter inch plywood. The flex saw is made in China. And the flex saw weighs eight pounds, 13.2 ounces, or 4,002 grams. 90.3 decibels for the flex. And the flex makes the most RPM at 5,925. Considering the high blade speed, the flex stopped the blade quickly at 0.5 seconds. And the flex is the fastest yet at 1.31 seconds on the first board. 1.31 seconds again on the second board. 1.31 seconds, three in a row for the flex to move into the lead. With a five amp hour battery, the flex had a slight advantage over the competition and it came out on top at 1.31 seconds. Cobalt finished in second at 1.48 seconds, Milwaukee 1.62, Works 1.63, and Bosch 1.76 seconds. If the weight of the saw is a factor in your purchasing decision, the Works, Ryobi 1 Plus, and Craspin were just over 6.5 pounds. The Makita and the DeWalt came in at just under 8 pounds. The 24 volt Flex and Cobalt are the heaviest in the lineup at nearly 9 pounds. Most of the manufacturers advertise RPM as a selling point, and the Flex came out on top at 5,925 RPM. Milwaukee was a close second at 5,848, Makita 5,812, Works 5,646, and Cobalt 5,331 RPM. RPM. The saw that was able to stop the blade the fastest is a slow spinning rigid at 0.3 seconds. The Craftsman is nearly as fast at 0.35, Milwaukee 0.45, Flex 0.5, and DeWalt and Bosch 0.55 seconds. Let's add two and a half pounds for a total of 7.5 pounds to see if the saws can handle the extra pressure. And the rigid lasted just about two seconds before the saw gave up just a few inches away from completing the cut. And the Craftsman lost a lot of blade speed, but it made the cut in only 1.51 seconds. Let's go ahead and add two and a half more pounds for a total of 10 pounds. I thought the Craftsman was gonna stall, but it held on to make the fastest cut yet at 1.26 seconds. Unfortunately, seven and a half pounds was too much pressure for the Roby, and it stalled about halfway through the board. And the works is very fast at five pounds, but seven and a half pounds was just too much pressure. At seven and a half pounds, the Cobalt lasted nearly a second and almost completed the cut before it stalled out. And the DeWalt made the cut in 1.41 seconds at 7.5 pounds of pressure. And 10 pounds of pressure is just too much for the DeWalt. Since the Flex has a 5 amp hour battery, which is an advantage, let's go ahead and try a 5 amp hour battery in the DeWalt. And the DeWalt made a little bit more progress, but it still stalled out. While it's definitely not a fair test, let's go ahead and use this 12 amp hour battery, which cost about twice as much as the saw, and we'll see if it helps the DeWalt. And the DeWalt made the cut in 0.9 seconds, so the 12 amp hour battery really helped quite a bit. With 7.5 pounds of pressure, the Makita ripped through the 2x4 in 1.16 seconds. And the Makita has plenty of power to handle 10 pounds. 0.9 seconds, very impressive. The Bosch has more than enough torque to handle 7.5 pounds, 1.46 seconds. And the Bosch easily managed 10 pounds of force, making the cut in only 1.06 seconds. With 7.5 pounds of pressure, the Milwaukee moves into a two-way tie with the Makita at 1.16 seconds. With 10 pounds of pressure, the Milwaukee made the cut in one second compared to 0.9 for the Makita. Just out of curiosity, let's see how the Milwaukee performs with the 12 amp hour battery. 0.75 seconds, which is 0.15 seconds faster than the DeWalt with the flex bolt combination. At seven and a half pounds of pressure, the flex moves into the lead at 0.85 seconds, very impressive. At 10 pounds of pressure, the Flex made the cut in only 0.8 seconds. Since the Flex kit does come with an 8 amp hour battery, let's see how it performs. And the Flex ripped through the board in only 0.65 seconds, the fastest time of all the brands and all the batteries tested. Using the 4 amp hour battery for all the brands except for the Flex, which has a 5 amp hour battery, only 6 saws could handle 7.5 pounds of pressure. And the Flex came out on top at 0.85 seconds. Makita and Milwaukee tied for second at 1.16 seconds, DeWalt 1.41 and Bosch 1.46 seconds.
Only five cells could handle 10 pounds of pressure. The Flex came out on top at 0.8 seconds, Makita 0.9, Milwaukee 1, Bosch 1.06, and Craftsman 1.26 seconds. Every saw has its sweet spot for the user to capitalize blade speed and electric motor torque. So taking into account five, seven and a half, or 10 pounds of pressure, the Flex came out on top at 0.8 seconds with a five amp hour battery. With two batteries, the Makita finished in second at 0.9 seconds, Milwaukee 1, Bosch 1.06, and Craftsman 1.26. Six seconds. There's definitely more to consider than cutting speed. Cycling the saw from zero to max RPM and back to zero five times in a row will provide some good insight into the responsiveness of the saw's electronics and brakes. And the rigid is very fast and responsive at 4.1 seconds. Once the trigger is engaged on the Craftsman, there's a delay before the motor engages. 5.72 seconds for the Craftsman. And the Roby has a very noticeable trigger lag and the brakes are slow to bring the blade to a stop. Even though the Craftsman makes 300 more RPM than the Ryobi, the Ryobi needed nearly twice as long, 11.15 seconds. The Works does spin 1000 RPM faster than the Ryobi. Even with the extra blade speed as a factor, the Works still outperformed the Ryobi at 8.57 seconds. The Cobalt makes over 5,300 RPM or about 300 less than the Works. And the Cobalt finished nearly identical to the Works at 8.67 seconds. And the DeWalt and the Cobalt make about the same RPM at very close to 5,300. And the DeWalt is a little bit faster than the Cobalt at 7.3 seconds. And the Makita makes 5,812 RPM, the third most of all the brands. And the Makita finished the five cycles in 9.07 seconds or about half a second longer than the works in the Cobalt. And the Bosch makes very close to 5,000 RPM or 300 less RPM than the DeWalt. And the Bosch needed about the same amount of time as the DeWalt at 7.3 seconds. Even though the Milwaukee makes the second most RPM of all the brands at 5,800 it finished all five cycles faster than six other brands at 7.24 seconds. The Flex makes about 75 more RPM than the Milwaukee. And the Flex is nearly as fast as the Milwaukee at 7.6 seconds. Trigger, electronic motor, and brake lag can have an impact on productivity. And the low RPM Rigid cycled the fastest at 4.1 seconds. The Craftsman makes over 1,000 RPM more than the Rigid, and it performed well at 5.72 seconds. Milwaukee 7.24, Bosch and DeWalt 7.3 seconds. I went ahead and removed the blade from all the tools. So let's compare the tool vibration. And the Rigid is around 14.3 millimeters per second squared. And the Craftsman vibrates a little bit more than the Rigid at 15.72 millimeters per second squared. And the Ryobi vibrates less than the Rigid and the Craftsman at 5.03. And there's quite a bit of handle vibration with the works at 28.3. And the Cobalt is very smooth at only 3.41. 7.13 millimeters per second squared for the DeWalt. And the Makita is incredibly smooth at only 1.05. Very impressive. The Bosch performed well at 3.71. 11.4 millimeters per second squared for the Milwaukee. And there's quite a bit of vibration for the Flex at 25. Tool vibration can have an impact on user comfort, and the Makita is the smoothest saw at 1.05 millimeters per second squared. Cobalt finished in second at 3.41, Bosch 3.71, and Ryobi 1 Plus 5.03. I measured the bevel accuracy on all the saws. All the saws were accurate except for the rigid, which is off by 2 degrees. I also measured the blade depth accuracy and all the saws were accurate. Some saws have a tendency for the blade guard to get hung up on the edge of a board. All the saws did fine on this test. Looking at just saw performance, the Flex came out on top with an average finish of 2.6, but the Milwaukee finished in a close second. While the build quality of the Craftsman isn't quite as good as some of the other brands, it performed very well finishing in third. If you're already invested in the Milwaukee or you're thinking about investing in the Flex lineup, both saws performed extremely well and I'd consider buying either of those saws. Regarding the Craftsman, for $70, it performed extremely well. While the Craftsman isn't built to be quite as durable as some of the other brands, it's still a great value for only $70. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and look forward to next time.